Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on compound growth and decay. This is the last video on this topic. We're just going to run through some example questions, uh, starting with the first one here. James deposits £29,760 into a savings account with an annual compound interest rate of 4%. Calculate how much money he will have after six years, assuming he takes no money out. Okay, uh, well, let's just write out the compound growth formula. Compound growth this time because we're dealing with compound interest. So N, the amount after the time period, is N0, the original amount, times 1, plus, in this case because it's interest, the percentage change, divided by 100 to the power of N, where N is the number of time periods. So now we just have to whack all our values into this formula, and it'll give us our answer. Very nice. So N0 is 29,760. Uh, that's the original amount in the bank account. Then we add, or sorry, multiply by 1 plus the percent change, 4%, divided by 100 to the power n. So we can simplify this if we want. 29,760 times 1.04 to the power of n. Sorry, I should have said n is uh, 6 years. Um, so uh, 29,760 times 1.04 to the power of 6. So that's what we're going to put into the calculator. So 29,760 times 1.04 to the power of 6. That gives us 37,655 pounds and 89 pence. So uh, let's write that out. 37,655,89. So that is the amount in the bank account after six years. Moving on to the second example then. Aza buys a car for 17,000 pounds. Uh, the value of this car will experience compound decay at a rate of 25% per year. Work out the value of the car after 8 years. So this time, instead of adding the percent change, we're going to minus the percent change. So the formula will be n equals n0 uh, times 1 minus the percent change divided by 100 uh, to the power n. So substituting in our values then, uh, n0 is £17,000. So that's the original amount times 1 minus the percent change of 25 divided by 100 to the power of 8, seeing as though it's 8 years. Uh, so uh, let's just put all that straight into the calculator. So 17,000 times 1 minus 25 divided by 100 to the power of 8. So 1,701 uh, pounds 92 pence. So that is the value of the car after 8 years. Now compound growth and decay is a skill that takes some practice, especially using the formula. Uh, so you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to practice with. Uh, so you get instant feedback on each and every question, which is really useful if you want to keep track of the areas that you're weakest at and find out where you need to improve. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and take the test today. It'll take you straight there.